माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैं सब गंगा दर सोन के एंड आई वेलकम यू ऑल टू द एम सी जेम्स वर्चुअल क्लास रूम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टूडे इन स्टैंडर्ड सेवन जियोग्राफी विल बी लर्निंग द टॉपिक एग्रीकल्चर एज वी ऑल नो दैट इंडिया इज एन अग्रेरियन कंट्री नियर अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ Indian population is directly or indirectly dependent on the agriculture and the related occupations so in this topic we are going to talk about the agriculture types of agriculture and the allied occupations of the agriculture so to understand this topic or to know basic information about agriculture there on the screen you can see figure 9.1 which is given in our textbook and the heading of this picture is a house in a village so whenever we people visit our native place if it is village or any relatives place and if there is the farming as a occupation then such type of house or this kind of house typical farmers house is this on the screen and by observing this what you have to do in our textbook it is given that see figure 9.1 and discuss the following question so the questions are also based on this picture so to answer these questions or to discuss these questions we just have to observe the picture very carefully now one by one we'll just try to answer the questions or to observe the picture to give answers of the questions and the first one is what all do you see in the picture what all do you see in the picture next one why has the family kept goats and hens by the first question or by answering the first question you can answer the second question that why has the family kept goats and hens the next one which implements are seen in the picture now not only goats and the hens but the implements are also there in the picture so which implements are there in the picture that you have to tell then how are these implements used kaun se hai aur unka use kis tarah se kiya jata hai kis kaam ke liye kiya jata hai in which major occupation type will the activity shown here be included then what could be the main occupation of these people as now it is in the figure or in the picture by observing the many things related with the agriculture and heading of our topic is also agriculture so we can easily answer this the next one who could be the owner of the house and the last one which products shown in the above picture do you use daily which products shown in the above picture do you use daily though we are in village or in city though we are in rural or in urban area but the products related with the agriculture or the products which we get from agriculture we use daily for example or the best example of this is milk jo hame ghar mein chahiye ye agar ghar mein bade log hote unko chai peene ke liye chai banane ke liye chahiye chote bacche hai to unhe doodh peene ke liye chahiye so the milk is the product which we use daily and many other things which are there now in the picture which is on the screen we see a standing crop here you can see standing crop then a plowshare here you can see a plowshare and from this it becomes obvious that this is a farmer's house a house in a village village of a sorry house of a farmer a farmer keeps hens here you can see a farmer keeps hens 
sheep, goats and cattle. Now again the same question why? They are also seen in the picture because he gets milk, eggs etc. from them. ये सारी चीज़ें जो है उन्हें उन्हें रखने की वजह से फार्मर को उसे मिल्क मिलता है एक्स मिलते हैं एंड ही सेल्स हेन्स गोड्स टू अर्न मनी एंड दैट्स वाई ही कीप्स द हेन सीप एंड गोड्स ही डज ऑल दिस फॉर हिज सब्सिस्टेंस विच इज रिलेटेड विद एग्रीकल्चर ऑल दीज ऑक्यूपेशन डिपेंड ऑन नेचुरल फैक्टर्स यू पीपल ऑलरेडी learnt about the natural resources and that's why you know the concept of natural resources and how these things are depend on natural factors all these fall under agriculture keeping hens keeping sheep goats and all other animals which are required for the agricultural work and that's why it comes under agriculture or it fall under agriculture these occupations are supplementary to the cultivation of crop sip cultivation karne ki wajah se agar aur kuch farmer karega to unhe uske paise bhi milenge aur jo jagah hai available resource jo hai uska bhi use hoga and that is why it is called supplementary to the cultivation of crops Agriculture has a wide scope because for our basic needs of food and clothing, we make use of plants and animals. So, beside the cultivation of different crops, rearing cattle, sheep, and goats, maintaining poultry farms, keeping bees, sericulture, horticulture, orchardry, pisciculture, pig farming, emu farming, etc., are included in agriculture. And this is very easy for the farmer to do all these things because very important thing is of the place. Jagah jo hai in sab cheezon ke liye lagti hai, wo farmer ke paas available hoti hai. So farmer can do all these things easily or the supplementary things which are related with agriculture. on the screen now we can see besides the cultivation of different crops rearing cattle sheep and goats maintaining poultry farms keeping bees sericulture horticulture orchardry pisciculture pig farming somewhere emu farming all these are the things which are included in agriculture so in एग्रीकल्चर ऑक्यूपेशन रिसोर्सिस लाइक मैन पावर एनिमल्स इम्प्लीमेंट्स एट्सेट्रा आर यूज मैन पावर इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग उसके बाद है एनिमल्स जो फार्मिंग के लिए चाहिए एंड देन द इम्प्लीमेंट्स कुछ चीज़ें ऐसी हैं जो चाहिए ही चाहिए नो एडवांस्ड टेक्नोलॉजी इज एम्प्लॉयड फॉर एग्जाम्पल tractor is the best example of this nowadays which is in demand for the agricultural work in agriculture cultivation of crops is considered to be the main and the most important occupation so whenever we are talking about agriculture it means that cultivating the crops in general we can say that so in agriculture cultivation of crops is considered to be the main and the most important occupation now again on the screen you are having figure 9.2 in which traditional and modern agricultural activities are given in the form of pictures by observing this you can easily understand the development in the field of agriculture or how the technology is day by day including or used by farmers to do better farming so of the, the pictures given above what differences do you observe through these pictures and what changes have taken place in traditional agricultural practices 
here you can see the change 1 2 3 then again I am giving the same number 1 2 3 in the form of giving water and then 1 2 and 3 this is what we can say the journey of the human being with the development in the field of agriculture so in these pictures we see the changes in agricultural practices in the past primitive man had to wander in the forest to sustain himself on the collected forest produce and about that in detail we have learnt in fifth standards evs part 2 how we came to be then he learned the art of cultivation and started getting greater production from the land here you can see and through this he could provide for the whole year's need for food grains he also started obtaining a number of products through floriculture horticulture rearing animals spiciculture and many more things so in short we can say that abandoning nomadic life he undertook different occupations jaise jaise time aage chalta gaya waise waise not only agriculture but he undertook different occupations related to agriculture at the same place and that is why stability increased stableness or comfortability increased और जो एक जगह से दूसरी जगह जाना पड़ता था विद द चेंजिंग सीजन वो सब बंद हो गया एंड देन द सेटल्ड लाइफ ऑफ ह्यूमन बीइंग स्टार्टेड सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट द डिफरेंट ऑक्यूपेशंस दैट कम अंडर द स्कोप ऑफ एग्रीकल्चर एंड वी यूज द प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ दिस ऑक्यूपेशंस इन आवर एवरीडे लाइफ दिस ट्रेडिशनल ऑक्यूपेशंस आर allied activities in agriculture jo agriculture ke saath saath chalti hai that is why it is called allied activities in agriculture what it is called allied activities in agriculture so in this the first one animal husbandry rearing different animals and obtaining various products from them for subsistence is the core of animal husbandry two things are there rearing different animals and not only rearing but to obtain various products from them unko sirf sambhalna nahi balki unse kuch product lena that is called animal husbandry and in this the first thing dairy farming now we know cows oxen buffaloes etc are reared for agriculture related work and rearing milch animals and animals which can be employed in farming jinse kuch kaam karke le sakte hain in farming is also an occupation it is considered to be an inseparable part of mixed farming because cows hogs and buffaloes etc are the animals without which we can't imagine agriculture so in india it has become quite commercial in recent times it has started changing recently commercial dairy farming is mainly undertaken for meat and milk and the demand is also high because the urban areas are now relatively increasing day by day people are moving from rural to urban areas urban mein jo hai demand bahut jyada badh jati hai milk ki because of other things based on the milk and not only milk but the meat is also the thing which is in demand so nowadays in india it has started changing recently and commercial uh, dairy farming is mainly undertaken for meat and milk now next to this sheep and goat rearing this is also a traditional occupation and that is generally carried out in hilly tracts and semi arid regions 
with dry climate why because sheep and goats survive on the short grasses shrubs and acacia which grow in remote hilly rural areas away from urban settlements और वहाँ की जो खेती है वो भी ज़्यादा प्रोडक्टिव नहीं होती है वहाँ पर कुछ ज़्यादा क्रॉप्स नहीं आते हैं सो इन सच एरियाज वी कैन सी द शीप एंड गोट रियरिंग इन इंडिया इट इज़ मेनली अंडरटेकन फॉर मीट एंड शीप रेयरिंग इज कैरीड आउट टू ऑप्टेन ऊल ऑन द स्क्रीन कैल सी सो टू थिंग्स मीट एंड ऑप्टेनिंग ऊल now next to this very famous and the you people may familiar with this or you may hear about this that the poultry keeping hens and other fowl is a common practice in all parts of the world because because of the demand it is also a traditional occupation and today it is carried out as a household occupation and also on a commercial basis so running a poultry on a commercial basis require a lot of care and for this scientific methods are employed nowadays as i am saying it again and again scientific methods are being to practice to increase the production or to make profit out of the business or out of the occupations so in india this occupation is generally located in the areas close to big cities close to big cities as they provide a ready market for this occupation and in some areas not only poultry but in this rabbit pig and emu rearing is also undertaken now the next point bee keeping this occupation is undertaken to obtain honey and wax bees in order to collect honey or around the plants that bear flowers and this promotes the process of pollination which increase in the product because of this the trees bear large number of fruits and crop yields increase bee keeping is an important occupation with respect to agriculture and it gives a lot of money also because honey is also in demand in the urban areas or nowadays it is becoming very important part in the diet then next one is fish farming or pisci culture enclosures like tanks are used to produce fish for commercial purposes called fish farming so farm ponds are dug out for this purpose as you can see on the screen what is stored in such ponds then fish seeds are released in the ponds two things are there again fish ponds are dug pehle fish ponds banaye jate hai then water dala jayega usme aur fish seeds jo hai unko release kiya jata hai and for these seeds of fresh water species are used again in order to achieve the best growth of fish scientific methods are employed so if we talk about the pc culture then the breeding rearing and transplantation of fish transplantation of fish by artificial means is called pc culture it's not the natural form of catching fish or of fishing in other words it is fish farming it involves raising fish commercially in tanks or enclosures usually for food now again the question why why fish farming or why artificial fishing because fishing in open seas has a number of risk factors different types of fish and other aquatic organisms get caught in the fishing nets separating them becomes a major task and all organisms do not fetch the same price so all these factors lead to the rearing of specific type of fish species separately 
and that is what is fish farming or pisciculture. So, fish species raised by fish farms include salmon, worm, roha, ravas, kolambi, catfish, tilapia and cod. And now the next is silk about silk or about sericulture. Now here silk thread is obtained from the cocoon of the silk moth and these threads are very fine and strong and from these one can view soft silk cloth which are also in demand. So, getting silk thread from cocoons and manufacturing silk cloth are independent occupations. They are not included in agriculture. Then what is included in agriculture? Different organizations supply silk moth eggs to the farmers. Then leaves of mulberry trees are the main food for these silkworms like this here you can see. And once planted, once planted the mulberry trees survive for minimum period of 15 years. Just think about the period. So, ek bar ye plant laga diya to 15 saal farmer ko dusra kuch dekhne ka kaam nahi hai. And hence the expenditure of planting the trees every year is saved. Agar hum baaki plants ki ya crop ki baat karenge to har saal ya kuch mahino mein hi wo change ho jata hai. Phir se naya lagana hai. Ye sab hota hai. But in sericulture when we talk about the mulberry trees once farmer planted this then it survives for a minimum period of 15 years and now the next one which is very famous again nursery in your surrounding you people may see this in the last few years the area under floriculture cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants nowadays in demand in the houses aromatic plants so floriculture cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants and horticulture has increased these plantations require a high standard of seedling cuttings bulbs and seeds so this has led to the development of nurseries and nurseries give good returns. Agar aap shahar mein ek chakkar lagao ke to baut saari jagao ke hume nurseries dikhti hai. Kyunki logo ki ghar mein plant lagani ki jo aadat hai wo baut jyada aaj kal bada gai hai aur baut saare gharo mein as a decoration iska use kiya jata hai. So nurseries are in demand now a days. Next point greenhouse farming greenhouse farming facility is getting maximum product from the land and it can have a total control on natural factors like climate heat atmospheric moisture as well as soil moisture so here basically all the things are controlled by human being climate kitna rahega wo control kiya ja raha hai climatic conditions soil ye saari cheeze control ki ja rahi hai and because of that there is guaranteed product jo nature ki wajay se product ka nahi aana kam aana ya phir nuksan hona ye saari cheeze control ki jati hai in the greenhouse effect it assist in getting maximum economic benefits so when we trying to define the greenhouse farming then it is greenhouse farming is highly specialized highly specialized type of farming of the modern era for erecting a greenhouse galvanized iron pipes and plastic seats are used as you can see here in the picture it main aim its main aim is to control the pest attack by controlling water, light and temperature which are the very important factors in growing the crop. Greenhouses are used on larger scales for growing flowers, 
like Lily and Gabera to give maximum economic returns. So this is what is greenhouse farming. Now the next point is types of farming in India or about the types of farming we have to talk. Different types of agriculture have evolved due to geographical and cultural diversity. We know there are different seasons in the different parts of the world, then different climatic conditions and because of that number of crops are there in any particular part of the world or in the particular part of the country. Just say states ki bhi agar baat karenge, to alag alag crop jo hai alag alag part mein aate hai country ke. The type of farming depends upon the purpose and aims of methods of farming the crops being cultivated, the techniques used, land use, etc. So, if we talk broadly, then on the screen, you can see the types of agriculture can be identified as subsistence farming. If you talk about, then it includes intensive farming and sifting cultivation in commercial farming, extensive grain farming, plantation farming, market gardening and horticulture. Now, in the next part of this topic, we will talk in detail, we will learn in detail about the each and every type of farming, about subsistence farming in that intensive farming, in sifting cultivation, in commercial farming, about extensive grain farming, plantation farming, market gardening and horticulture. So, in today's part, we people learnt about the concept of agriculture and the allied activities or the traditional occupations in the agriculture in that animal husbandry including dairy farming, sheep and goat rearing, poultry, beekeeping, fish farming, sericulture and nursery. Please subscribe the channel and press bell icon to get notifications. So my dear one, this is all for today. Thank you very much. Stay home, stay safe, take care.